horror. You know, and it's like they're doing that because women aren't falling for the trick. They're, they're realizing on a deep level that that life is like so many women write to my wife that she's known her, throughout her life. And they're like, your life looks so amazing. My wife is a homemaker. She is a mother. She um, lives on a farm. Her husband is a super masculine borderline warlord who like protects and provides. Okay. On paper, you know, according to the narrative, she's married to a bigot racist homophobe and she is enslaved by the patriarchy. When in reality, she's living what women want. And they've been sold abortion, sterility, and wage enslavement in a life with no male protection. And, and women know it. Women write to her all the time. They're like, that's what I want. And I'm sick of these people lying to me. And men have a similar problem. Men have this, like, so many men have been sold this, like, Joe Rogan experience where it's like, okay, as a man, what you want to do is just figure out, like, what you are with, like, psychedelics and then, like, uh, you know, like, I don't fucking know. Just, just this whole shit where it's just, like, you know, make a lot of money and just don't have any obligations and, you know, you are for you. It's like, no, your struggle. Being a man, the happiest a man can be is when he's appreciated by those he loves so dearly, it would be an honor to die for them, but much more preferable to live for them as he effectively provides food, safety, uh, teaching, and protection. That A man is so pumped in that environment. Do you understand? I wake up like... I wake up so early because I can't wait to do shit. And my life is all about planning shit and raking and moving stuff and writing and yelling. I'm fucking pumped. And people are like, man, you really took a risk just calling out. It's like, dude, it's a risk to live a life of quiet desperation. The male spirit dies when it's scared of conflict, when it's like, well, according to CNN, you know, they're going to take even more of our freedoms. Man, that sucks. I just... I got to just keep my head down to keep these fucking fancy pants though or else no one will respect me at the club. That's a man that's, that's dead inside and uh, he's been cucked. And the only one who's going to pay the price is himself. You know, it's not heroic to be like me. It's natural. I'm, I'm no fucking hero. I'm just a man crushing. There's nothing better than facing an enemy, figuring out how to win and winning. If your goal is, is like the fancy pants, you, you don't win because it's a weakness. Your goal is like, okay, how do, do, you know, how do my people win this thing? Okay, let's go. And then you win and you and you love it. And all these men are like, these times are too dangerous. You know, these like weird squares in our pocket that didn't exist that long ago. They have these like, this digital thing that lights up. And, uh, and it creates fear in my mind that I don't see anywhere. And because of that, I change my behavior and agree to a lot of things because I become very scared. And then I start seeing it actually happening like my schools and places. But I dare not say a word because I love my fancy pants and I don't like being called mean names. And I think it's the end of the world. That's real. Uh, you're pathetic. You're not a man. And you could be a man. You just need encouragement. It's, it's natural for men to fight. Th this state of the cuck male, the female, the female male, the, the, the covetous materialistic male, the male that when I talk about how we got money back from YouTube and how it's a big win, any male that is envious and not pumped for the plunder, the win is female. It's like, but the material that's not natural. It requires an insane amount of propaganda to make you like that. Uh, you can get out of it. A lot of men just simply need other men to challenge them, push them and be proud of their successes and, you know, punish their weakness. And women need to be loved, honored, and provided for and and then they flourish it's not it's like well that's slavery under a man it's patriarchy no it's 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 that which women are the most safe most loved mo happiest and they flourish the most and everyone fucking knows it and the real evil the real wicked are the ones who know it and pass it on because they don't want to face the re reality of it i don't hold people that don't know it as wicked or accountable it's easy to make that mistake it's the people that know this is true and they go along with it. They go along with the evil. They sell out their own people. They sell out women. They sell out men. They sell out their nation. They sell out God. All of it simply because they're fucking materialists. They're fancy pants. They, they want sodomy. Those people are the most wicked. They're so, they're so gross. And 
you know, they deserve the life they get. They, they don't, I don't need to kill them. They, they, their, their existence is their own punishment. <laughs>